Hey everyone, Tim here from Snap Attack. Let's dig into this week's Threat Snapshot. So today we're going to be talking about CVE 2023-21768. Uh, this is a local privilege escalation vulnerability affecting Windows. Uh, it impacted Windows 11 as well as Server 2022, and it was abusing um, a bug in the ancillary function driver, the ADF.sys. And uh, this is kind of an interesting privilege escalation, so this is why we wanted to demo it. Um, so this vulnerability was actually patched back in January, uh, but some recent exploitations, some POCs have come out, and this is why we did want to highlight it, because it is a lot easier to exploit now. Uh, we're going to be specifically looking here at some intelligence and research put out by IBM's X-Force Red and their researchers, uh, Chompy and FuzzySec. And right here, we're on securityintelligence.com, which is uh, IBM X-Forces and uh, IBM in general's kind of research blog. And they have a really good write-up if you want to kind of know the details of this, where they did the patch diff analysis between the December version of ADF.sys in January to find out exactly what was patched and, and fixed here within this vulnerability to figure out how you can exploit it. Um, for those familiar with some of those uh, security adages, you know, Microsoft has their patch Tuesdays. Um, there's always exploit Wednesdays where uh, attackers would go through, they would reverse engineer and create these exploits based on the patch diff. Um, I would also add to that that then we have our snap attack threat snapshot Thursdays. And if you're also a follower and fan, uh, there's Atomics on a Friday too. So I think we've got all the days of the week covered except Monday. Um, nobody likes Mondays, but... Uh, I digress, go on a rant on that for another time. So if you're really into reverse engineering, IDA Pro, all of that sort of stuff, your Windows kernel internals, very good technical blog post here where it basically explains how all of the exploit chain was created and how it works. If you just want kind of the TLDR, we're going to give that to you here in Snap Attack and show you the demo and show you how to detect it. Um, one thing I do want to note uh, here is uh, kind of a footer in the blog post is that there is, um, after releasing uh, IBM released their exploit code, um, other security researchers, particularly this is um, 360 Ice Sword Labs, they've seen um, other variations of this in the wild that used a, a similar but slightly different technique here. So again, this is one of those common things where when, when patches do become available, these exploits uh, can become very possible, especially if it's a you know, very juicy vulnerability. So local privilege escalation, especially remote code execution, you know, those sort of things tend to get reversed and weaponized. So again, POC for this is available. Um, this is again from IBM X-Force Red. We've got Chompy and FuzzySec who created this. So very simple kind of point and click with this. Um, it is working on, again, vulnerable versions of Windows 11, uh, the 22H2 systems. So, you know, we added this to Snap Attack. We ran um, an example of this in our lab and we can take a look at what this threat looks like here. So again, we've got a, you know, Windows 11 victim. Um, we're gonna do a quick who am I priv just to see that this is a normal user, very basic privileges. We're also going to find what our process ID is of this command prompt. So we can see that's 10204. And then we're going to run that local privilege escalation, and that is going to elevate uh, this command prompt to system. And we can see here we ran who am I again. We have all of those additional privileges. So this privilege escalation technique worked. Good news is there are detections here that we have that we can uh, you know, discuss and talk about. Um, let's pivot over to the process graph and let's just kind of go through this uh, attack a little bit here. So again, we had that command prompt that was um, started here. We can see this is integrity level medium. So this is, you know, very boring, very basic. We have that who am I priv that we ran. Again, this is going to be in that medium integrity level context. You can see where we ran that task list confined string to figure out that process ID. You can see here where we're running the compiled uh, local privilege escalation, again, still in medium integrity context. Then you can see here again where we ran who am I priv, and again, this command uh, cmd.exe is now running as system with those additional privileges. So 
uh, a little bit different here where again trying to detect that privilege escalation of we have the, the parent the child so you know you could look hey this is a medium integrity and then now this is being spawned as a higher system level integrity process so those those sort of things are definitely detectable if you're looking at those parent-child relationships um, again you know this process here those original telemetry logs that we have are going to be showing that as a medium integrity context so that can get a little bit confusing to uh, certain EDRs. Um, so really what we're gonna be looking at is a lot of the post-exploitation activity. Uh, that said, there are a couple ways that we can detect this, um, you know, sort of malicious behavior where we are uh, escalating our privileges locally with this exploit. So we have two of those detections here exclusively to snap attack. Um, first one is looking at the IO ring pipe names. So I'll, admittedly, this is a little bit of a uh, fragile detection. Um, if you go into the source code and you take a look how they're um, creating this uh, attack, they are using named pipes. So again, on a, you know, if an EDR logs named pipes, I'm looking here at, you know, Sysmon, you know, event code 1718, we can take a look at the pipe ring name and we can see here that they're using the IO ring in and IO ring out pipe names. So. That is definitely a way to do it. Again, it is in the source code. So if an uh, attacker is going to just keep those default names, not change them, you will be able to see that activity. Um, but again, those name pipes can change. So this one is a little bit more fragile. Um, another one that we're going to look at here is based on Windows event 4673. And again, sometimes you have to go and look up, you know, what is this, you know, event code? Because um, this might not be one that you're familiar with. So this is a privilege service was called. Um, this event generates when there are certain um, privileges. So you can see like SE system time, global privilege, TCB privileges are being used. And there's one in particular here that we have, and this is the suspicious SE, prof or SE profile single process privilege. Um, again, there's different things around this that an attacker can use, and uh, this seems to be a pretty high confidence detection, both for this uh, attack chain as well as other local privilege escalations here. So we can see Spoolful. Um, we've been able to detect this in our lab. Um, we can see, um, again, going back, throwback, I think this was actually our first threat snapshot, the Hermetic Wiper and some of the other ransomware that was being used on Ukraine, uh, Curb Relay Up. Um, another privilege escalation technique. Bloodhound is using this. Um, AD Find is using this. There's there's definitely other tools and techniques. Um, Bizarre Call Malware. So this could be a, a very interesting way to take a look at um, you know what sort of things are uh, using this privilege. Again, there's probably going to be some uh, you know whitelisting and false positives that we have to do here. Um, you can already see in this detection we're excluding certain things and you know common windows, uh, you know, paths and, and other, you know, sort, but, um, you know, really taking a look at what is that process name that is, you know, calling this privilege is, is definitely very interesting to see here. So you could definitely do a threat hunt with this detection, and you might even uncover some things besides CVE 2023-21768. So that's our threat snapshot for today. Again, reminder, this is a weekly series. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.